dear, beloved listeners and viewers, we are deeply apologetic. We have failed you, and we are very sorry. We had an entire episode about names of future Fast and the Furious movies, and we came up with our own pitch at the end, and we did not name it. Which yeah. is an enormous oversight. That was Just, the whole point of the episode was titles. We didn't give it a title. Yep. And in fact, I'm willing to bet that if we go to the comment section, which we're recording this right after, mm -hmm. but if we go to the comment section, we are going to have multiples of you who have taken us to task for this great oversight. Yes. So. So Dan and I have independently, without sharing it with one another, come up with titles for our Fast and the Furious sequel, yeah. which we are ma making, if we were going to make Fast 10. But we can't use Fast 10. We can't use Fast 10, your seatbelts. We also can't use... To my, yeah. Yeah, to my great chagrin. We also, we, we can't use X. We can't use X. people, when they do their 10th thing, they, they use an X. We're not going to do We're that. not going to do X. Uh, I only have one. I don't... Yeah, but, I but, it, but, uh, but I have a subtitle. Uh, I came up with a subtitle, too. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. like having two. Yeah. Uh, I'll go first, because mine is terrible. Okay. You okay. ready? Mine's pretty terrible, I'm going to assume that yours is better than yeah. mine. Uh, it is Fast and Furious... But the I O in Furious is a ten. Okay, that, that's that's a little obvious. But it's a little you obvious. You only had like ten seconds to do this. But then the subtitle is the whole kit and caboodle, <laughs> and kit is spelled K I T T in all caps, like in Knight Rider, because it's a self-driving car. See, Vin Diesel wouldn't let that happen. Well, mm -hmm. Vin Diesel but is going to be portrayed by a CG model of Vin Diesel in this movie. Mine is Fast Urius with a big F, <laughs> because you. Because they have to have a new title thing. And so Fast, instead of Furious, you have one F that goes for both of them. Oh, So technically, okay. the name of the- So it's F Ast and Urius? Yes, F Ast Urius. <laughs> they haven't done that yet, I don't think. No, I don't think they have. So, uh, And that sound, that, that's the t name of my next D&D &D character. So they have to, in the Wikipedia, be like, do, is, it, is the name of it F Ast Urius? Or is it Fast Furious, with, is the F repeating? Anyway. So there's no and, there's no ampersand. There's no ampersand, but they've it done fast few. F yeah. Asterius. F Asterius. <laughs> yep, that's it exactly. Okay. And in my version, Dave Bautista's character, the CGI is named Jack, and the subtitle is Carjacked. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love a good title that only makes sense if you've already seen the movie. That's a that's a no, really no, it great doesn't thing. because Carjack. It's about. Stealing cars, that's what they do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I understand that. But then... But the yeah. pun asked, like, after you're leaving yeah. the theater... You're like, wait, his name was as Jack. As you walk into the theater, everyone coming out is like, oh, his no, name is Jack. You just call it Car Jack, because... Car, car Jack. Yeah, Car Jack. Okay. Love so, it. See, that's F so much better than mine. F Urius. Urius. F Ast Urius. Car Jack. Car Jack. <laughs> that's, that's delightful. Mm. I am... I'm glad that we made our... Listeners, wait a week for that. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, by the way, by the way. Yeah? We do have to have, in our version, Dave Bautista car is, you, you said seducing the other cars. So there, there has to be an Antonio Banderas car as well. I just think that, okay. that's, you know. There has to be an Antonio Bend. If, if cars are seducing each other. The one to be seduced is the Antonio, Antonio Banderas, Banderas car? Yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm just, down with that. Just, just mentioning. We have to shave him bald. It has to be in the notes. No, no, because Jason Statham isn't bald. You, you alternate bald guys. Statham isn't bald? Oh, he is bald. He but he's is. not big muscly. He's like no. wiry muscly. But they Statham have is a, bald. They have other Do they have, body types. They have. Um, they, you're right, though. It's Statham is bald and, um, Diesel, and is bald. Diesel is bald and the uh, Rock, is, Rock bald. is bald. And they are. And then you add Dave Bautista. I'm also going to add Jonathan Banks as our old grizzled bald guy. Okay. Who's going to be like a mechanic or something. Um, okay. Because classic John Henry style, the only way they beat mm -hmm. the self driving car is they have to go back to basics with like yep. the, the least tricked out car they can get. So okay. It's all just pure human skill. I don't know. That's okay. So you ready for what I'm going to pretend is a food heist oh dear you excited for another this? of these okay 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 this is gonna be good mm -hmm. you gotta tr you gotta go with me on this journey i'm i'm there all right so two weeks ish ago mm -hmm. uh in japan a huge metal sphere 
washed up on the shore. Was it filled with alcohol? That's exactly where I'm going with this. Uh huh. They couldn't identify what it was. They're like, is this a buoy? Is this a mine? Giant metal sphere, yeah. hollow. They don't know where it came from or what yeah. it is. Clearly, it's the one with all the, yeah. the yeah. German gin or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, I right? mean, somehow it got from the lake to the ocean. Yeah. Mm, yeah, whoever stole it. They wanted a prototype. They were actually not after the uh, the alcohol. They, they were after, after the, the housing itself. that makes the alcohol, and then they made a farm of them offshore. And one that's of them the, got loose. Yeah, one of them got loose. That's what I. That's Washed what I'm thinking up here. But on Hamamatsu Beach. This can't be it because you know you're going to continue with the story. No, that's, really that's the whole story. Oh, that's the whole story. Yeah, they don't know oh. what it is. <laughs> oh. Mysterious metal sphere washed up. They don't know what it is. They think it's probably a buoy. Yeah, that it. that is a stretch, but I like it. Yeah. This is this is a stretch. I'll so give you. It's yeah. that's. The, I mean, the best I could do otherwise is like some people like misappropriated bourbon. That's not a heist. No, I'm sick of these embezzlement ones. Uh, this this one works. I mean, yeah, you know that uh, they they've got a whole a whole legion of them out there in the ocean where they are. They're making they're making something nefarious uh, using this housing that they stole. Mm-hmm. They threw away the uh, the bourbon or whatever it was, the alcohol. They just wanted the housing. They, they wanted the yeah. sphere. That's more valuable to them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So that that that's a good story, but it makes the original one, which was one of our favorite food heists. No longer a food heist. Oh no! If you steal the housing and the food comes along the with food it, food is with it. Just you by have action. heisted the food. So if I, if Jack, the carjacking car, yes, steals a car that has some food in it, is it a food heist? Yeah, sure. I mean, if if got you some McDonald's fries in the cup holder, Jack, the carjacking car steals a car and there's a child in it. Is that not kidnapping? I guess that is. Te- right? Yeah. That's, you get kidnapped. I'm kid- glad you for- went with kidnapping and not cannibalism. <laughs> you always go there. Well. <laughs> uh, no, it's, if that counts as kidnapping. Mm-hmm. If you were, if you stole that car and there were diamonds in the back. It would be a diamond heist. It'd be a diamond heist. Even okay. if you didn't know that there were diamonds there. How many movies are about things like this? That you're like, yeah. wow, now we have diamonds. You did this. Identity. And then they're like, wow, fries. And you eat the fries because- Fries. Mm-hmm. It's a food heist. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Car uh, Jack the carjacking car. Yes. Which is another really wonderful name for the movie, um, or for the Saturday morning cartoon based on the movie. Yes. He wouldn't eat the fries himself, uh, but his no. driver. Yeah. Who's like a goofy guy, played by Justin Long. <laughs> he would eat the fries. Okay. And okay. he'd be like, Jack, you stole another car. It's what I'm built to do. Eat the fries. Like, I can't help it. These cars just follow me around. And then Antonio Bandera says, of course we do. <laughs> anyway, how would, we, how would you like an actual topic this week? Okay. Okay, so. Th- this one has the potential to go off the rails as well. So, yes. Um, in the grand tradition of our podcast not making sense. Um, we are going to do another personality quiz. See, we did one of these and we were very disappointed in it. And we said, mm-hmm. that someday we will do a better one. And you have located. I have found better a better one. one. This is a, a pretty good one. Mm-hmm. Is one I've taken in the past. Uh, I'm going to take it again. And you're going to take it. For the first time. Uh, for the first time, we have Becky sitting just off camera. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it has like a zillion questions. Uh-huh. So the ones it gives to me are different than the ones it'll give to you. So she'll just shout them out. So and she'll record your answers. A billion questions. It's going to self-select yeah, for us. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's not too many questions, if I remember correctly. But okay. if we're still here in three hours answering questions, I apologize. Oh, actually, it says the median time to complete the recommended version is 185 seconds. Three minutes. Okay. Well, I think that knowing us, um, we may <laughs> take, take longer a than little that. bit longer. Well, we're taking two tests at a time. Yes. Uh, so any, what it's going to kick out at the end is a list this is openpsychometrics.org. Okay. And it'll say, you are most similar to like these 10 characters. Um, and then it's so, anyway. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hit begin assessment. My first question, use the slider to indicate where you fall on this spectrum, artistic or scientific. Ooh, where are you going to put yourself, Boy, Dan? I think 
are we going to take the test for ourselves or for the other person? I think you should take it for yourself because we okay. did it the reverse yeah. way. Um, All right. And uh, I'm going to slide this definitely towards the artistic side, but uh, you know, I've got a hard SF series. I can't say I'm not scientific. I'm going to go like a, a 30, 70. How does that okay. feel to you? That feels about right. I'm going to go 50, 50. Really? Yeah. I guess the hard magic guy. Yep. There you go. I well, am, but your question might be different. What's oh, my question. Different? Yes. Brandon's is feisty or gracious. Feisty or gracious? That's a terrible question for me because I'm neither one. <laughs> you are neither. You're gracious. I'm more gracious than I am feisty, I suppose. Yeah. I don't consider myself overly either I one. I don't think you're a very feisty person. No, I'm like but a But I zero. think you're a very, you, you're a very gracious person. You're okay. thankful to people for doing things. Yeah. Right? I don't think either one would be my top 10 descriptions of myself, but we're going to have to go, I am not feisty. No. 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 So 100% gracious? 100% gracious, gracious on that 0 particular spectrum. Feisty. Okay. Um, I, I don't think that there's a human being who has ever described me as feisty. No. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting At lots of shaking Not one who heads. lived through it. Mm. Okay. Uh, question number two. There are 36 questions. Okay. Uh, charming and awkward. Oh, I don't consider myself a very awkward person. No, you are not. I'm and you're pretty... kind of the opposite of awkward. When awkwardness yeah. happens, you diffuse awkwardness. Yeah. Uh, ben, on the other hand, <laughs> Ben, <laughs> we should both take one of these quizzes for Ben sometime. Just make it up, like answer on his behalf. Answer on, on Ben's behalf. I would feel guilty giving myself like 100% charming. Yeah. So I'm going to go like 94. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, like I said, not awkward at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What, what am I? Okay, Brandon's orderly or chaotic. Orderly and chaotic. This is another one where I'm I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, the reason being that, um, like, I am not a particularly cleanly person, um, but I have had to be organized. I always say that I am a, my, my deep core sort of thing is this like flighty artist, but my mother, who is an accountant, <laughs> like yes. trained me to the point that uh, I have this like the shell of control that has served me very well to mm -hmm. kind of channel all of that. Yeah. Um, and so- um, <clears throat> You definitely lean more towards ordered. I think I uh, probably do, yeah. yeah. You put up weekly- percentages of how much of your books you've completed. That's a yeah. pretty ordered thing. Yes, but my magic cards are not organized in any way, shape, or form. They are just big piles of cards. Well, they're in stacks. They that's hang. better than that's heaps, true. right? That is that is true. Um, so, all right, let's go. Let's go orderly 67%. 67%. orderly. Yes. I actually, my third question is the same one, orderly uh -huh. chaotic. Uh, I'm gonna put myself more on the chaotic side, okay. but probably in a, in about the same percentage. Okay. Maybe I'll go 67% chaotic. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Mm, that sounds good to me. Okay. okay. I'm probably more orderly than that, aren't I? I'm probably more 75. 75? Yeah. 25? Probably. Okay. But you've probably already put it in, so we're fine with the 67. Yeah. Okay, so what's his third? Brandon's are dunce or genius? Dunce or genius? What kind of question is this for to ask someone? Oh, right? No. You can skip them if you Okay, really I don't, I don't want to skip them. No, no. Okay. Um uh, dunce or genius. Like who's going to answer dunce? Dunce. Right? Um I don't, I don't know. It seems like a a very loaded word. Did you ever did you ever take an IQ test? Uh I took one years ago. I took one. So I've taken one. Mm -hmm. Um, I took it when I was, uh, trying to get scholarships to go to college. There were places that required, uh, IQ tests for whatever mm -hmm. reason. So I went in and took one and it taught me that IQ tests are, are bunk. Fundamentally flawed. Yeah. yeah like I took absolutely. this test and I'm like, like, I would assume that maybe it's just the best they can do, but I would assume that it, like an IQ test is one that you can't prepare for. Mm -hmm. But if I took that test a second time. I knew I could have done much better. Yeah. Um, uh, I got a, I got a 140, 140. I believe. 140, yes. that's a, 
I was less. I was like 134, 135. Yeah. 139 is what I actually okay. think that I was. Something like that. Right, yeah. right around 140. But, but they're nonsense. But, th- but they're nonsense. They're absolute yeah. nonsense. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, I'm going to put myself 70% genius. 70% genius? Yeah, se- 75. Let's do 75. Would higher. Would you? Yeah. I don't know. I've met geniuses. Like... I was roommates with Ken. That's right? true. Right? That's true. Um, I know what a legit genius <laughs> is like. That's true. Uh, and I I don't move in those circles. Mm-hmm. Like, I move in the, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'll go 80. We'll go 80. How about go 80? 80. Yeah. I'm happy with 80. Mm-hmm. All right. Question number four. Mm-hmm. I got wild and tame. Oh. Well, I think I'm a fairly tame person, honestly. Yeah, I think you're, but you're more wild than I am. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, I am, I am, I would be like, I'd be like a 10% wild. <laughs> 10% wild? Yeah. Um, I'm not much more wild than that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say 80. 80% tame. Like, it, it's weird for me, though, because a lot of the things that people think that that are wild, that they enjoy, don't feel very wild to me, mm-hmm. right? And so it's kind of a, a hard one to match to me. Like, uh, is going on a roller coaster a wild thing? I would say no. No, okay. Uh, because, you know, it's safe. I mm-hmm. think something like moving my whole family to Germany, that yeah. feels wild. That feels like wild. Like, that is yeah. uh, not something that a lot of people do. It's mm-hmm. fraught with a lot of problems. It's crazy and weird and has little purpose <laughs> I, I think it had it. a lot of purpose but it also it was it was awesome uh yeah okay all so right what's, what's my, his fourth what's my fourth so we have angelic or demonic Ooh. ah uh, boy this is this is a hard one because it's it depends on your frame of reference right <laughs> okay right mm-hmm. um like um, I would think that to the average person, I am all the way up. Like the average, like if you go, like, I mean, I am a religious person. I do not drink, do not smoke, mm-hmm. right? Um, like I have a stable family life. I would probably be on their scale pretty high on angelic. For the local area, <laughs> I'm the weird science fiction writer who, uh, mm-hmm. who, uh, whose media preferences exceed their thresholds for uh, the sorts of things that they mm-hmm. uh, would like. And I am sarcastic and don't buy in very well to some of the touchy-feely sort of stuff and things. And so it depends on your frame of reference, right? Yeah. I think I am probably 75% angelic. Okay. But I, I think, think a fair. lot of people would have put me 90, 95%. It's just in my local area. Mm-hmm. I feel I feel a little bit more of a demonic than, uh, than perhaps. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think that's very, that's a good interpretation of that mm. particular dichotomy. Yes. All right. Question five. Juvenile mature. I genuinely don't know what to, to, where to put myself here. Yeah. I am 46. I have six children. I own a home. That's pretty mature. I'm fairly mature. Uh, it- also, I write stories and play games for a living yeah and 500 board games at home tell me if i'm wrong like i get the sense for you that if you didn't have to if there weren't some structures you would play all day and be happy oh playing all day right Mm -hmm. like um and like so that's that's a hard one like i for me it's easy I'm 100% mature, right? Like, not to say, but I I remember being a teenager and being like, I feel like the 40-year-olds. I relate to the 40-year-olds. And I joked from my teenage years that I was born 40. Mm-hmm. I married Emily. She's like, you're, you're a 40-year-old. And then I passed 40. I'm like, well, where am I now? But uh, not that I'm mature in the sense of laudatory. It's just like, I did not connect with yeah. young people. You were you were an old young. person I was from an the old beginning. Person from the beginning. Yeah. I was an old that, that's sourpuss. how my brother is job. as well. He's yeah. like, get off my lawn, you crazy yeah. kids. Yeah. When he was ten. But I do like video games and things like that. Mm-hmm. So well, and know. no one can write like Wayne. Yes. And not have an element of 
juvenility. Yeah, there, there's to them. the there's the devilish side of me. There's the twenty five percent Wayne that's just uh, that's 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 waiting to make those dick jokes, right? Just like got to save them up for the right character, and then then I can then I can do it. Okay, so uh, well, you don't have to yes. rate yourself on juvenile and mature. I'm gonna. Put my. I'm gonna just keep it right at fifty fifty. Okay, that seems pretty reasonable for you. So what? What's five? There's thirty six of these. Uh, yeah, and yeah. We're on five. Okay, we might well, have to go fast. Let's, let's rapid fire a few of these. Okay, so, okay. so strict or lenient? Strict or lenient? Sixty percent strict. Okay, uh, I got the same dunce genius one. I'm gonna go same eighty that yeah. you gave yourself. Seems like a very reasonable number. There we go. Number six for Brandon. Indulgent or sober? <laughs> well, um, I am a 300 pound man, so there's some indulgence requisites. Well, and and does indulgent to sober mean yes. mean that this is specifically about food? I mean, I think about because, anything, right? I, I mean, so you'd have to be a fairly indulgent man to build a giant underground lair and then yeah. fill it with magic cards, right? right. Um, but what's the other side? And sober. But I also have never had a drink of alcohol. <laughs> and I am often in conversations um, with like, I've told you this before, I'll get together, I'd get together with uh, Brandon Mole and Shannon Hale. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would talk about something and they'd be like, Brandon, stop being such an adult. <laughs> right? We're here to not talk about anything about business. Stop being an adult, Brandon. Mm -hmm. uh, Shannon will all, always, to this day, even still, I'll get together. She'll be like, can we not adult right now? Uh, so I am going to give myself on the sober side, but I'm only going to give myself a 65% sober. 65% sober. Yeah. All right. Uh, my question seven is spiritual skeptical. Ah. Uh, I'm going to weight this very strongly towards spiritual. Okay. Um, skeptical... In the context of spirituality, I don't have a ton of that. I have a little, absolutely. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, I like I'm absolutely the one who constantly is championing like UFO stories. Okay, I totally okay. believe that those are real. Okay, so, I would be a fifty-five on spiritual. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Just myself right over there in that. I'm gonna go eighty spiritual. Okay, okay. what's his seven? Obedient or rebellious. I am lawful. No, I'm. I, I'm neutral. Good is where I would put myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm going to say that I'm just over the line into obedient. I'm going to be sixty percent obedient. Um, but I have a very healthy rebellious understanding of rebellion. And uh, I, I, one of my favorite lines from any uh, any of the Marvel movies uh, is. When uh, Nick Fury's like, what does he say? I know they've uh, they've made a rule, but it sends it's a lame ass rule. I've elected to ignore it, <laughs> whatever that line is. Yeah. If it's if your rule is a lame ass rule, I will just ignore it. <laughs> so that's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, all right, number eight. I skipped my number eight. Okay. Uh, my number nine is masculine feminine. Okay. I am more on the masculine side, but I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah. I don't know where I am. I'm going to play it easy and go 75. How does that grab Yep. You? What's mine? Selfish or altruistic? Selfish or altruistic? I'm a little more altruistic, I believe, but not a ton more. So I'm going to give myself a 65. Okay. Is that his eight? Yep. What's his nine? Nine is artistic or scientific. Okay. With you had this one and earlier. Same one. Yep. I'm gonna go 50-50. 50-50. That I seems the, very fair. I am the the embodiment of what it is to be halfway between <laughs> those two things. Okay, my number 10, arcane and mainstream. You are on the arcane side. Definitely more arcane. Yep. I don't know how arcane. We were both more arcane during our views before the world became more arcane. <laughs> yes. Um, the fact that you can say the name Galadriel and most people will know who you're talking about mm -hmm. has, has it's very different from our childhoods. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just said that I believe in UFOs, so yeah. I got to go pretty hard here. Okay. I'm going to go like 85 arcane. Mm. That might be too far, but I'm going to keep it. That seems 
a Any, anyone who hates so many beloved things yes. can't be too mainstream, right? That's true. Okay. We have haunted or blissful. Ooh. I am blissful 95. 95. Yep. Okay. That's a defining characteristic of me is mm-hmm. that I wake up the same every day that I enjoy my life and that things are just pretty great. That's awesome. Um, I am the opposite of bipolar. I feel the same every day, and it's a pretty good feel. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, my question 11. Uh, this is a weird pair of words. Mm-hmm. Creepy or disarming? <laughs> you are creepy. <laughs> you are pretty creepy. Am I, am I more creepy than disarming? I don't know. You're pretty disarming, too, is the thing. You put the thing people is, at ease, but then... I, I go to conventions all the time. I do booths all the time. Yep. I have the reputation as the honest guy who is nice to everybody. Yep. But you also ri- wrote John Cleaver too. Yeah, I did. Um, you wrote all the John Cleavers, but John Cleaver but John 2. John Cleaver 2, uh, and, and yep. I can't remember if it was two or three that uh, Emily... Yep. Read and then felt like she couldn't pray afterwards. Yep, we had uh, we had family prayer, and she's like, it was her turn. She's like, I can't pray. I can't pray. I just I, finished a Dan book. It's yep. still one of the best reviews I've ever gotten. Yep. Um, boy, should I? For the sake of time, I'm going to go sixty percent creepy. Does that okay. feel far enough? Nah, I don't know. That fat feels fine. You could go anywhere between forty percent and sixty percent, and I think okay. you would be. All right, we're going to say sixty percent creepy. Okay, we have social or reclusive. Um, so I'm a recluse who has learned a secondary mode of being social when he needs to be. So I'm going to be 70% recluse. There you go. All right, I have poisonous and nurturing. I think I'm pretty hardcore nurturing. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I don't think you have a poisonous bone in your body. Yeah. I apparently come across that way. You're like the creepy. Creepiness. You're a creepy <laughs> nurturing person, but you are indeed yeah. a nurturer. I'm going to go 100% nurturing. I think that is accurate to my understanding of you as a person. Okay. Arcane or mainstream? Okay. There you so go. So I'm more mainstream than you are, right? Mm-hmm. And what did you put? I put 75, I think. Okay. Or 80. I think I did 80% arcane. I don't think we can do the jobs we do and be fully mainstream, Mm -hmm. but I'm definitely more mainstream than you. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 57% arcane. Okay. All right. Uh, My number 13 here is outlaw sheriff. Hmm. This is like the, uh, the, uh, what are you on your D and D psychographic? Would you give, I like, I give myself neutral good. Yeah. What would you give yourself? I don't know. Definitely a good. Mm-hmm. Um, like you say, it depends on the context I'm in, right. right? I think there's huge portions of the world that would consider me to be lawful good. Mm-hmm. Within my community and my family, I am very chaotic. Yes. So I don't know where I am. I don't know what to put with outlaw sheriff. It's the same as law versus order chaos yeah. type stuff. Order so. chaos. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, any parent is going to be partially sheriff. Mm-hmm. Not any parent, but... I'm going to give yeah. myself a 50-50 on this one again. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Why not? That's where I would probably put myself... Well, I'd probably be a little bit on the sheriff side, so... All right. Adventurous or stick in the mud? I am definitely more of a stick in the mud. Adventurous to stick in the mud. You're more stick in the mud? I am more stick in the mud. Okay. I will. I want to do stuff, but I kind of want to sit at home and tell stories. Like mm-hmm. I, I went like when Micah wanted me to be his lovely assistant to uh, do the photography tricks. Mm-hmm. I went, right, and I went and did these things. And when my friends wanted to go on trips, I went. But I was the guy who was the curmudgeon who's like, I just want to stay home and write books. And like, we have you have to go with us, Brandon. <laughs> and I made them encourage me out to yeah. go. But I still went, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. So I play the curmudgeon willingly. Uh, but I will. St- I'm the per- 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 I'm the curmudgeon you can persuade to come yeah. with you. So I'm going to be seventy five percent. Seventy five. Yeah, that feels right. Mm-hmm. You know, you do like going on adventures, but also you've kind of grown yeah. tired of all the travel. And but like- I also am the person who jokes. The people around here they love their camping, right? Yeah, they do love their camping. Mm-hmm. You love your camping. 
Um, they people love uh, camping, and they will say we're going to go camping and rough it, and I'll be like, wait. You're going to a hotel without 24-hour roof service <laughs> that ends at 10? Oh, that is really rough. Yeah. Right? I'm, Camping I'm, is a hotel without a smart TV in it. Yeah, I don't need a smart TV. Room service? <laughs> Can I get a concierge? Like, mm -hmm. how nice are the rooms? Is there a fireplace? Like, this is what determines whether I'm roughing it or not, so. Yeah. I'm still very much a camping person, but mm -hmm. my wife is not anymore, so. All right, here we go. Number 14, formal, intimate. Mm. It's it's a weird pair of words. I think that one works. Does it? Yeah, yeah. Like, are you, are you? Oh, like, how do I treat people? Yeah. Imagine it. They're not talking about like everyone's intimate with their family. Uh huh. But would people describe you when they first meet you as kind of formal and standoffish? Like, I would be. I'd be like a ninety percent formal. Formal. I think uh -huh. I'm more intimate than that. If that's yes. how we're defining this. Um, I like calling people my friends. I'm gonna go. 63 intimate because okay. that's where my thumb landed on the slider. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a, a measure of your chaos. That's a chaotic move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Poisonous or nurturing? Well, I can, I'm not as nurturing as you are, but I am a dad. Yeah. Um uh, poisonous is the wrong thing poisonous to match is, with is that. Odd. Yeah. Nurturing you I mean, you are a community builder absolutely. Yeah. So, but I can't be as like I know truly nurturing people. For an example, I teach my class. I mm -hmm. do it because I think it is good to do for the community. Yeah. Um, like it's definitely not about the money uh, and, uh, and things like that. But I also am not a good teacher. I'm a good lecturer. A good teacher gets to know each student, helps them individually, right? Mm -hmm. that's not as interesting to me as getting up and lecturing about the cool things I've discovered about writing, right? Yeah. Uh, and so I'm definitely not as much a nurturer as you. So I think I have to go, if I'm being perfectly honest, like a 60%. I don't think poisonous is the right word. I think there should be another, it's like mm -hmm. nurturing versus like self, uh, whatever, but- Yeah, self-interested. Uh, because if it's truly poisonous, like if that's what you're going for, then we all should be 100% nurturing versus poisonous. Yeah. But- no, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fair. further. I'm gonna go further. Yeah. I'm gonna go seventy five percent. Seventy five. Yeah, do it. Just because they use the word poisonous, and I don't think they should. All right, so uh, we we have to go even faster. Okay. Uh, fifth number fifteen, slovenly stylish. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing an old t shirt, and I didn't comb my hair today. You have hair. <laughs> well, I mean, I cut my hair this short on purpose so I don't have to comb it. Okay. That's I. I'm definitely on the. I'm gonna put eighty slovenly. Okay. What do I got? Loyal or traitorous? Uh, I am going to go 95% loyal. I do think that is an attribute that mm -hmm. I have worked to cultivate and try very hard that to do so. That seems fair to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, 16, selfish altruistic. Hmm. I am more altruistic than selfish, but I'm also selfish. Yeah. For sure. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll go as high as... 75. How about a... 60? I think a 75 is reasonable. 75? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Slovenly or stylish? I don't think I'm... So how shall I say? You're not as slovenly as I am. No, but only because of sheer force of work by people <laughs> like Jane, right? Where did you put yourself? Uh, I think I, I can't remember. Were you like I 60? I just did it, like 70 something? 70 something? Yeah. All right, I'm 69% since if he was 70. <laughs> I'm like one point less slovenly than Dan. All right, uh, number 17, deranged and reasonable. Mm. I'm a fairly reasonable guy. You're also a fairly deranged guy sometimes. Yeah, that's true. But only like in a controlled way. Like you're, mm -hmm. they, they need to, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, everyone out there listening is like, he gave rings of power an eight out of 10. He's completely deranged. Yep. Um, that's not really what deranged means to me, but I guess that is what it means. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to go too high on reasonable. I'm going to go like 55. 55, okay. What do I got? Creative or conventional? Creative or conventional? I am pretty creative. Mm -hmm. I think that is definitely an attribute. I'm going to go... 95% creative, even though it's at kind of war with some of the other things we've done, 
uh, because mm-hmm. I, I am mainstream, but I my I I thrive on being like, what's that plot that everyone does? How can I do it differently and things like that? Um, so I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah, uh, mine eighteen. We're only halfway through. <laughs> uh, obedient, rebellious. I am more rebellious, but not by much. Okay. So I'm gonna say sixty. Mine. Creepy or disarming. Creepy or disarming. Uh. I'm 55%, no, 60% disarming. Yeah, you're more disarming. Mm-hmm. All right, 19, creative conventional. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing you yeah. did, like 95 creative. What do I got? High tech or low tech? Definitely pretty high tech. Uh, I'll go 90% high tech. I'm pretty good at, like, my kids need something done. I can figure it out technologically. And I have this phone. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty high tech, ain't it? All right, number 20, blue collar ivory tower. I'm more of an ivory tower person. Yeah, but you're more blue collar than I am. That's true. Um, If I'm 100%, what are you? I get a lot less blue collar as I get older. Mm. The older I get, the more I'm like, I've installed too many toilets in my life. I'm going to pay someone else to do it now. I have never installed a toilet. Really? I have always paid someone. Uh, I have done so much of my own plumbing, it is grotesque. So maybe I'm not as ivory tower as I thought I I'm was. I'm the guy when my <laughs> friends move and they're like, can you come help? I hire people to go help them because they'll just do a better job than I will. You helped me move a couple times, but that I was- I did before I could afford to hire it. Okay, yeah. I did 60 on ivory tower. I hope I get that one. We have alpha or beta. Uh, I'm pretty, this is- That's the sh- one I skipped because I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Did, Should we skip that? I don't like playing into that stereotype, so I think I will skip it also. I think mm-hmm. that there is toxic conversation around that entire concept. Yeah. Uh, and if, yeah. Okay, so then you have outlaw or sheriff. Outlaw or sher- sheriff, I am 60% sheriff. 65. 65% sheriff. sheriff. Is that sheriff. his 21? Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. my 21 is social and reclusive. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give myself 80% reclusive. Okay. I can be social, but I have to force myself. I that's, mean, that's I, like, interesting. I like groups. Mm-hmm. I like groups of people that I know. Okay. Right? But like... Because you're the guys that are always... You're the ones like, let's go do another convention. Let's go do... A con- let's have our own convention. Let's do have a cruise. And I'm like, ah, well, too and, much stuff. You know, I'm the one... Emily mm. invited me to come to a New Year's party at your house. And I'm yeah. like, sweet. Let's invite everybody and make yes. it a big party. So I know that that's a part of me. Mm-hmm. That's the twenty percent. I think you're um, more social than I am, and I put seventy five percent. I believe really. On that one. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm uh, just saying. I'll, I'll knock it down to seventy three. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, twenty two. Loyal traitorous. Is that yours? That's my twenty two. Oh, yep, that's right. Okay, uh, I think I'm more loyal. Yeah, I don't I see myself think. as a traitorous. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, Tuscaloosa that, that the Walrusian. Me. That was Tuscaloosa the Walrusian. You played Tuscaloosa the Wal- Walrusian. Okay. I'm going to that Tuscaloosa is going to bump me from a 95 to a 90. Tuscaloosa the Walrusian. There's 5% extra traitorous in my blood because of Tuscaloosa the Walrusian. Okay. Sorry, I cut you off. What's oh, you're good. 22? Deep or shallow? Deep Who's going to say shallow? shallow? People who are being honest with themselves are not shallow, so no one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 95% deep. Okay. Um, I have nerd jock. Ooh. I'm just going to go 100% nerd on this yeah. and call it done. Yeah. Sarcastic or genuine? <laughs> 50-50. Let's... 50-50? What? I guess. I guess. You feel more sarcastic. I would go like 55. 55, sarcasm. fine. I'll be 55, sarcasm. Okay. Uh, I've got now angelic, demonic. What were you on that? Uh, like I gave myself 75, yeah. I think I can do the same thing. All right. Bossy or meek? I am so bossy, aren't I? <laughs> okay, give me, give me a 97% bossy. I've tried that 3% I've clawed back through effort. <laughs> And I'm still working on it. Oh, I got bossy and meek, too. Mm. I am not as bossy as you are. No. But I am more bossy than meek. Mm. Let's go, like, 70. 
70. I'm working on getting under 90%. Maybe I'll make it by the time <laughs> I die. All right. My 26 is emotional and logical. I kind of want to go 50 50 on this. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Did I get ahead of you? Mm -hmm. Are you? Okay. We're still on 25. Okay. okay. Do, do Give two, me two of his. Okay. Charming or awkward? 60% charming. Would you say? Yeah. 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 Depending on the situation. Depending on the situation. Mm, I, I could go up to 70. I could be 70% charming. That feels better. Yeah. The other one, your 26, is blue collar or ivory tower. Yay! You know what there. Give me a 100%. 100% ivory yeah. tower. That's the probably the most 100% I've got. <laughs> All right. So my 27 now, I got haunted and blissful. Uh-huh. I'm definitely more haunted than yes. you are. Uh, but I think I still lean on the blissful side. Mm. Um, I think that one's going to really do something interesting to my uh, to my demographics because yeah. I think a lot of people who are as logical, ivory tower, all that stuff for me are not blissful. They're like the characters are are haunted, and so I'm gonna get yeah. like I'm gonna get like Pinkie Pie for that reason. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go seventy percent blissful. Okay. All right, we have nerd or jock. I will give myself also a hundred percent nerd. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, my 28, uh, stinky and fresh. <laughs> well, to me, you stinketh not. Oh, to me, he doth not stink. Um, yeah, who's answering this question? I don't think I stink. Does my wife think I stink? Um, I, I went high on slovenly, but I don't think I'm stinky. I don't, I hope a I weird don't get that question. one. What do I got? Frugal or lavish? <laughs> <laughs> is it real marble on the floor of your underground lair uh yes yes it is <laughs> okay yes yes that would be how many black <laughs> lotuses do i own uh i only have three right only now. three only three black lotuses. like a peasant like a peasant yeah okay one of them is beta though edition so well one of them i believe the original artist painted for me painted it yes uh go ahead and give me a 95 percent. 95 percent lavish yeah. the the five percent is my pioneer heritage that my <laughs> mother worked so hard to instill in me um and creeps in every now and then creeps in and every now and then okay uh 29 sarcastic and genuine hmm you made me go 55%. Yeah. I think I, 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 am I more sarcastic than you? I don't know. We're in the same league of yeah, sarcasm. I'm not, I'm going to go slightly more. I'm going to go yeah. 57. Okay. Okay. Deranged or reasonable? 100% reasonable. There you go. I don't know that reasonable is the right term, but if it's reason versus emotion, I am one of those people who is mm -hmm. not very emotional at all. Uh, all right. So, my 30 is deep and shallow. Hmm. I gave myself a very deep score. Yeah, I, I think, think I'm going to give myself well. another deep score as well. I'm going to go pretty deep on this, like mm. 90. Emotional or logical? Well, give me that 100% <laughs> logic. 100% logic. I just got adventurous and stick in the mud. Yes. Um, and I am the stick in the mud. What are you? I'm definitely more adventurous, mm -hmm. but also I'm old. Yes. And I mean, I'm not old, old, but I'm old enough to be like, yeah, I don't have to go outside. Mm -hmm. I was born that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go like 65 adventurous. Okay. Spiritual or skeptical? So I'm going to what I said earlier. I'm 55% spiritual. Mm -hmm. There you I'm go. I'm just over the line. Uh, I just got frugal and lavish. Yes. I am a lot. I'm, I'm on the frugal side. Are you? Yeah. Mm. Years of being poor have beaten that into me. So where am I? I mean, I will I will always want to buy the lavish things, but I never will. I'm going to say 70% frugal. You know how much work it's taken me my entire marriage to get Emily to be willing to, you know, <laughs> buy on stuff like the non-store brands. Of, you know, like, you know, actually buy a name brand something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hard. Okay, what's his 32? Wild or tame? 
I'm pretty tame. Um, I'm tame. I'm 80% tame. Very good. Uh, I just got high tech and low tech. I'm another very high tech, like mm-hmm. you were. I don't remember what you said. I gave like an 80% because yeah, I'm sure there are people, going people can code better than I can, but I can learn it if I need to. So, mm-hmm. Okay. Formal or intimate? I am extremely formal. I am 87% formal. There we go. Uh, mine is strict and lenient. I'm pretty lenient about most things. You are pretty lenient. Yeah. I'm going to go pretty high on that, like 80, 85, something mm-hmm. in that range. 83, because that's where it landed. That sounds, yeah. That's pretty lenient. My kids don't think I'm that lenient, but I am. Your kids should have different parents for a week and then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that happened mm-hmm. uh, when my oldest, um, I don't know how much we've talked about him on this show. He has got a lot of mental health problems, spent at one po- at two different points, actually, several weeks in a mental hospital. And that was the very first thing he told us after his first day in there was like, man, you guys are the best parents. I never realized. Now that I've seen what all these other kids' parents are like, we're like, yep. He's the one that drove a car off a cliff while you were on a... Yeah, it was uh, a small cliff, but yes, small he did. cliff. Yeah. Got called in the middle of a, we were all at a, a thing together, <laughs> and Dan's like, gotta go. My kid just drove a car off a cliff, and he was 13. It was pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. Very small cliff. All he's right. Fine. So, uh, he's 34. Masculine or feminine? Um, I am going to go 79% masculine. Very good. All right, I just got feisty and gracious. Mm. Um, I don't even know what to do with that. I think you're somewhere in the middle range. Yeah. Should I? You're the one that made us eat hot once. That's feisty. That's, that's kind of feisty. Mm-hmm. Um, but does feisty as opposed to gracious mean that I'm like not nice to people? Yeah, I try to be nice to people. You are a very nice human being. I don't even know. It's weird. I can't remember what you did. I'm going to do like 60 gracious. But Tuscaloosa Walrusian. Tuscaloosa. You can't keep blaming me for his actions, Brandon. <laughs> okay, we have stinky or fresh. <laughs> uh, 50-50. I don't think I'm that stinky. I don't think I'm that fresh. So Okay. Um, did we just end up getting all of the same questions in different order? I, I think, think we did. So. Okay, yeah. so, so maybe they don't have a billion questions. Maybe yeah, they maybe have. they don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have indulgent and sober. Um, and again, that's that's a very hard question to answer because, like, I will eat wild and crazy things. Eating is like my mm-hmm. comfort thing, but I have never used any kind of drugs or alcohol or anything in my life. So I'm a very sober person as well. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go 50-50 because I don't understand. That's my end. Okay. okay. Do I have one more? Juvenile or mature? Well, <laughs> give me that 94%. And that extra 6% is Alcatraz. That's right. <laughs> okay. So that's is that the end, right? Yes. So you've completed the test. Uh, you have the chance to do an optional survey, which we're going to say no to. Um. Okay, so, oh. So who are you? Uh, The best match between the self-assessment you provided and the profile of a fictional character as rated by other people who have taken the survey is Dr. Sean McGuire. That's Robin Williams in Good Will Hunting. Oh, okay. 88% match. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. That's not a bad match for you. It's not where I would go number one but But it is where these kind of tests typically put yeah right it is Mm -hmm. the old mentor yep who's gonna give you a quest and help you achieve your dreams that's always where these things that's where you go does it have other characters in there as well uh there is a complete match list um but i have to answer 10 questions to unlock it i'm gonna do that really fast while becky reads yours okay we have the best match between the self self assessment you provided and mm-hmm. the profile of a fictional character as rated by other people who have taken this survey is the character of Professor X. Okay, well there you go. Huh. That's a okay. that's a that's a pretty good match. I was gonna say if I had to say anyone, Mastermind from the pick the DreamWorks movie <laughs> is is kind of a bit more me ish. That but might be in your list. That might be in my uh, list. Okay, so I have the complete match list now. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, Dr. Sean McGuire from Goodwill okay. Hunting. And you can just answer 10 random questions for me it, as well. Honestly, for me, it was just one. Okay. It said, give us your demographic. And I said, male 45 to 55. And it's like, great. We have plenty of those. We don't need any more okay. questions from you. Uh, Albus Dumbledore. Okay. Vitruvius, who's Morgan Freeman in the Lego movie. Yep. <laughs> you you do have a type, right? don't you? Maurice from Beauty and the Beast. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Iroh. Uh, the Oracle in the Matrix. <laughs> Uh, ben Hargreaves from the Umbrella Academy, which I uh -huh. haven't watched. Uh, Henry Mills from Once Upon a Time. Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I'll wear that badge with oh. honor. Oh. Daniel Jackson from Stargate SG One. Guinan from Star Trek. Luna Lovegood, who's my favorite <laughs> Harry Potter character. I am an eighty-one percent match for the, Luna, Luna Lovegood. Lovegood. Yeah, okay, that's the only one on this list that's not. Here, let me help you achieve your dreams. Bell and Luna Lovegood. Okay. Uh, and then Remus, and then Gandalf. Mm. So yeah, that's me. Okay, you I'm, are wise mentor. I am Deckard Cain. We need to get you, like, we need to get you, like, and in our sixties, you need to be our wizard. Yeah, you need to. Where we have I to go full wizard. I'm able to regrow yep. the beard. Go full on go wizard. Full Grateful Dead. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's hear. Okay. What do I got? All right. We have Professor X, eighty nine percent. Don Shirley. From Green Book. Um, haven't. Don't know. Doctor Strange. Okay, that's another very good that, match that's for me. a good one. Yep. Lucius Fox. Adam's the only one ah. who's ever failed to pick mm. up the things. I, I, I interwove them really poorly uh, this time. So Lucius Fox. Lucius Fox. Another we're, decent we're match. We're both a Morgan Freeman character. Uh, we have Carlisle Cullen from Twilight. Okay. Carlisle. He's the, the dad the doctor. Dad, yes. Okay. Yeah. Professor Oak from Pokemon. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Al Albus Dumbledore. And we both got a Dumbledore. Okay. What's his Dumbledore percentage? Eighty-four uh, percent. I'm an eighty-five percent Dumbledore. You're more Dumbledore than I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. Donald Mallard from NCIS. Okay. Al Robbins from CSI. Okay. Q Tomorrow Never Dies. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The new Q. Mm -hmm. The new well, nerdy Q. Uh, Tomorrow oh. Never Dies. No, that's was a John Cleese Q. That's a John Cleese Q. Okay, that's a better match because new Q is more techy than I am. Yeah. Okay. Jean Luc Picard from Star Trek. Ooh. Well, there we go. You're Jean Luc and I'm Guinan. Hey. That's why we're friends. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and then we have Princess Celestia. I did get a pony. Yes. I, I, I told you <laughs> Bliss was going to get me some ponies. Uh, and I got a pony. Um, that is what I am going to carve onto your tombstone when you die. As long as you put slightly. I knew that Bliss was going to get me some ponies. <laughs> as long as you also add, but I also get to be Professor X. <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty good match for me, all yeah. of those, this, I this think. Is a, a good this is, test, this right? is a good test, This is a much better test. Like, I see myself in all the characters on there I know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's, I'm curious. That's me. Uh, mm -hmm. We both ended up with a Morgan Freeman yes. old man mentor character. Yes. Why do you think that you got Lucius Fox and I got Vitruvius? Um, Vitruvius is more weird and wacky. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm out of here. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Lucius Fox is more like the responsible adult in the room mm -hmm. um, whenever Batman is going off the deep yeah. end. Uh, so is Alfred, but Lucius is like the, you know, the, the rather than the, per, the grandfatherly figure is like the stick in the mud. He's like, no, mm -hmm. Batman. Don't yeah. go do the stupid Batman he, he's, stuff. He's, always, he's kind of an enabler. Yes. Uh, and he he does crack jokes. He's yes. like, oh, the tumbler, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be interested in that. Yeah. But then he gives him the tumbler, right? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I'm delighted to know that I am Albus Dumbledore and Guinan and Luna Lovegood all rolled up into one. You should screenshot that and send it to Emily. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And one of these times, if the people demand it, if the people demand it. We will do it for Ben. Oh, you and I will be do so it for great. Ben. How do I take a friggin' screenshot on this iPad? I don't even know. It doesn't have a home button. It's an iPad. It doesn't have buttons at all. No, they it has expect a you. The volume button and the power button. The volume button and the power button. Oh, it worked. Thank you. I have this saved now. Um, if I go down far enough, I get like 
Arthur Weasley, Lester Freeman from The Wire, Fox Mulder. Oh, that's a good one. Mama Coco from Coco. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good Dan. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dustin from Stranger Things. Obi Wan Kenobi. I do eventually get Lucius Fox at seventy eight percent. You're much more Lucius than me. Yeah, you're you're, but you're more Dumbledore. Oh, I also get uh, Andy Dufresne from Shawshank Redemption. Mm. And eventually, down at seventy percent, I get Yoda. Okay, so that's fun. Anyway, there we are. I I need to have Emily take this. That would be fun. I would be very interested. You have Emily take it. I'll have Don take it. Okay. And we'll, we'll report back. Report back that what, who is Professor X and um, who is your top one? Uh, Sean McGuire from Goodwill Hunting. Oh, yes. And, uh, and basically just, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, what we've learned today is that if you are a young hero who needs a quest, Apparently, I'm on a log by the side of the road somewhere just waiting to hand him out. So I can hook you up. How's that, Ben? 